good morning dear children we are going to continue the chapter the great train journey which is written by ruskin bond in the previous video we studied about the suraj fun boy suraj who was very fond of trains and one day as he was wandering uh, near the track he entered in the goods train and he discovered the carriage was filled with number of crates and those crates were filled with apples and he was enjoying a lot in that but he wished that his friend would have been with him as he was thinking all these suddenly the train started moving now he was thinking how to stop the train or how to jump out of this train let us see what further happened with that boy today we will read on page number 49 we'll continue the chapter greetings friend said a voice from behind and suraj spun round guiltily his mouth full of apple we know that uh, suraj was sitting near the door and he was eating apple and that time somebody greeted him from behind and suraj spun round spun means turned turning quickly he quickly turned round guiltily guiltily means as committed an offense in in such a way he turned back as he made some offense he made some mistake his mouth full of apple a dirty beard face was looking out at him from behind a pile of crates from behind the pile of crates uh, one dirty beard face the face which was very dirty and the face which was full of beard was looking at him the mouth was open wide pan stained grin that person who called him from behind his mouth was open wide and pan stained grin his grin means his smile was uh, pan stained because his mouth was so dirty with as he uh, after eating pan er namaste said suraj apprehensively who are you then apprehensively means very uneasily suraj said namaste to that man then he asked who are you the man stepped out from behind the crates and confronted the boy then that man came out um, just he came in front of the boy confronted means came face to face i will have one of those too he said pointing to the apple that man pointed to the apple and said that he also want to have one apple suraj gave the the man an apple and stood his ground while the carriage rocked on the rails then suraj took one apple and gave to the man and he stood uh, his ground while the ca uh, carriage rocked on the rails rocked means moved gently on the rail the carriage was move, moving on the rail and we know that when train moves there is a little a vibration inside the train it shivers a bit the man took a step forward lost his balance and sat down on the floor that man as it was vibrating it was shaking man could not stand straight he uh, when he uh, kept one step forward he lost his balance and he sat down on the floor and where are you going friend he asked have you a ticket then that man asked suraj about his ticket and asked where he was going no suraj said suraj have you then suraj said no i don't have ticket do you have ticket the man pulled at his beard and mused upon the question but did not answer it man just he just pulled his beard 
and then he mused means he thought upon his question upon the question but he did not answer anything he took a bite from the apple and said no i don't have a ticket but i usually reserve this compartment for myself the man said i don't have ticket but very usually very often i used to travel in this compartment i have reserved this compartment for me this is the first time i have had company the man said usually very often i used to travel in this but for the first time i got company where are you going are you a hippy like me hippy means a person with odd appearance like long hair and tidy dress then man asked uh, suraj where he was going and uh, he asked whether he was also hippy like him i don't know said suraj where does the train go suraj said i don't know where uh, i am i am going and then he said uh, where does the train go he asked the man the scrappy ticketless traveler took concerned for a moment and said where do you want to go then that scrappy scrappy means inferior in size or quality or uh, very scruffy and that ticketless travel traveler took concern for a moment and he said he just thought for a while and said where uh, do you want to go i want to go everywhere said suraj now suraj told him that everywhere he want to go i want to go to england and china and africa and greenland i want to go all over the world suraj expressed his desire he said that all over the world he want to travel then you are on the right train said the man man said you are exactly in the right train this train goes everywhere he said everywhere in the world this train goes first it will take you to the sea and there you will go to get on a ship if you want to go to china he said that first this train will take you to the sea and from there you have to take a ship to go to china how do i get on a ship asked suraj suraj said how he can get a ship the man who had been fumbling about in the folds and pockets of his shabby clothes produced a packet of beads and a box of matches and began smoking the aromatic leaf the man who had been fumbling uh, sorry fumbling fumbling means awkward who had awkward look dress he just put his hands inside his pocket and took out the beads beady and he uh, took out beady and matches and then he started smoking can you cook he asked the man asked suraj whether he can cook yes said suraj and truthfully he said untruthfully he actually he was not able to cook but still he said yes can you scrub a deck deck means a floor on a ship the man asked can you scrub can you clean the deck then he said why not yes i can can you sail a ship then suraj said yes i can sail anything then you will get to china said the man then man said if you are able to do all these surely you will reach china he leant back against a crate stuck his dirty feet up on another crate and puffed contentedly at his beady then he just uh, bent back and he kept his uh, feet on the other crate and he continued his smoking suraj finished his apple took another from the crate and dug his teeth into it as one apple was finished he took another one and started eating he took aim with the core of the old apple and tried to hit a telegraph pole but missed it by meters the apple which he ate first uh, 
uh, he took the core of the old apple core means the central part of the apple we know that the part in which uh, we can see the seeds we do not eat that part that is the core of the apple so he just took that apple and aimed at the telegraph poles and uh, but missed it by meters it wasn't the same as throwing a cricket ball aiming the telegraph pole was not as throwing a cricket ball then to make the apple more interesting he began to take big bites to see if he could devour it in three mouthfuls now he wanted to enjoy eating apple he wanted to enjoy that journey so just to make um, apple and uh, interesting he thought that he will finish apple within three uh, bites but it took him four bites to finish the apple so he started on another then uh, the apple which he was trying to finish in three bites he could not finish uh, he could finish in four bites so he took another apple and he tried the same with it Suraj had always wanted to be in a train a train that would take him to strange new places over hundreds and hundreds of kilometers Suraj always wanted to have train journey and today uh, the um, the train which took him to the strange new places he wanted to travel through train and he wanted to go to the new places and here was a train doing just that today his desire was fulfilling and he wasn't quite sure if it was what he really wanted and he was not able to believe himself whether uh, whatever he uh, imagined is fulfilling now the train was coming to a station the engine whistled slowed down the number of railway lines increased crossed spread out in different directions now uh, train was coming to the station we know as train reaches to the station it gives a whistle and its speed slow down and we can see the number of railway lines number of railway tracks crossed spread out in different directions before the train could come to the stop Suraj's companion came the door came to the door and jumped to the ground before train stopped at the station the companion that man he just came uh, towards the door and he jumped to the ground you would better keep out of sight if you don't want to be caught he warned the man warned to the suraj he said that if you don't want to be caught you just uh, be out of sight and waving his hand he disappeared into the jungle across the railway tracks then that man waved his hand said goodbye to suraj and he just appeared into the jungle the train was at siding we know siding is a place where uh, the track allow uh, a track allows uh, tra allow train to pass each other and suraj could not see any signs of life any signs of life means uh, he could not see any human being there but he heard voices and the sound of carriage doors being opened and closed at that halt at that uh, railway siding he did not see anyone but he could hear the sound of the doors being opened and closed he suspected that the apples wouldn't stay in the compartment much lo longer so he stuffed one into each pocket and climbed on to a wooden rack in a corner now uh, he suspected he suspected means he guessed that uh, apples the crates of apples will not be in the uh, carriage for long time so 
he just took apples and filled his all the pockets with apples and then he just climbed on the wooden rack uh, in the corner of the uh, carriage presently men's voice were heard in the doorway now men's voice could be heard in the doorway means some laborers were there in the uh, compartment two laborers stepped into the compartment and began moving the crates towards the door where they were taken over by others two laborers uh, got inside the carriage they took the crates towards the door and from the door other people were uh, taking them out soon the compartment was empty dear children i hope you understood this much and the remaining chapter will continue in the next video thank you